Daddy. So for today's vlog, vlog video, I'm going to take you guys with me as I figure out my look. Kung anong makeup yung gusto ko for my graduation pictorial. Uh, I will be graduating in a few months. So, ayun. I will be having my graduation picture taken on December 14th, which is scarily like less than a week from now, I think. So, I have a few days to figure out what I want, how I want it to go. So, yeah, this is the first look. If you want to know how I achieve this classic brown graduation pictorial makeup look, then just keep watching. Contact lenses are very optional for this look, but if you do want to wear contact lenses, make sure that the ones that you use are very natural looking and not too bright in color. Next, you want to make sure that there's no oil or any dirt on your base, so I'm just using this toner right here to make sure that my base is clean and also moisturized. And of course, before you add anything on top of it, make sure that the first layer of toner that you applied is nice and absorbed. Also, since you're having your picture taken, please stay away from the use of SPF. It has a lot of ingredients that may cause flashbacks. Anyway, I'm just doing my skincare again just to make sure that the skin is really nice and prepped and that the surface is very firm so that the makeup applies smoothly. I'm just removing the excess on my brows because that's what we're going to do next. Honestly, hindi ko pa alam talaga yung style ng makeup na ginagawa ko. The one I did here was fairly new. Uh, I started it by just sculpting out the shape that I want my brows to be in, filling it in as per usual. But I did something that I never really did before which is using a very fine tip. Um, eyeliner pen to add some strokes or like hair like strokes to the end and the front of my brows. Of course, grad big parinto, so you want to look very nice and neat. And to do that, I'm going to use a concealer, a lighter shade underneath the brows to really clean it up. And for the cleaning up of the upper part of my brows, I'm going to use a concealer that's more closer to my skin tone. After all of that's done, this is how the brows will look like. Very nice and soft looking. But next, we're going to move on to the complexion part, which I'm just using my normal base um, Holy Grail, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm applying that very generously on the sides of my nose, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I almost forgot but last minute I applied some lip therapy mask on my lips just to make sure that my lips don't look crusty. Now before I even add anything else, sobrang lala ng dark circles ko. They're not necessarily eye bags but they're very dark in color. So I'm using this color corrector just on the eye bag part and not going up to the lower lash line. And I'm tapping that in using my fingers. On camera, my dark circles are pulling a lot more brown than they are blue, but when you layer on very thin layers of this color corrector, it will make a difference, as you can see right here. For the base, this is a non-negotiable product, the Cushion Puff and the foundation. I found that this um, Skinfluencer foundation by She Glam really works best for HD photos and now I'm applying just very thin layers, very very thin layers on my skin and really pushing that in and blending it out using my Cushion Puff. I really wanted to avoid kiki looking skin so I took my time in building up the layers and blending them out using the applicator and when I see spots na medyo mas red, tsaka ko lang siya nilalagyan ng extra product to make sure that again my skin does not look cakey. And I often don't do this for my regular looks but since we want the skin to look more even and like pantay-pantay, I'm also adding some foundation on my eyelids to cover the discoloration. For both of my grad pic pictorial trials, 
um, I'm going to be using my tried and true products and one of them is this Key Best Concealer. Na face out na siya, but I have a few stocks of them here pa which I'm very thankful for because I really love it. It just works very well with my skin tone and with my skin type. So if you're going to do your own grad week makeup, make sure to use your holy grails then. Moving on to shading products, I'm going to use this bronzer. This is by Vice. I normally don't use bronzers anymore, especially cream bronzers, but I'm going to do it for this purpose because uh, flash photography and I want my face to look uh, warm and a little more shaded than usual because of the harsh lights. So yeah, I'm going to go in a little more hard on the contour then because again we want the face to look defined if you use a light contour like kapag masyadong light yung pagkaka contour mo hindi rin yun makikita after because of all the lights and yung flash photography so yeah always take that into account when you're doing any event or like formal picture taking that involves bright lights for the blush naman, again, we've established that we want to use classic colors, so I'm going to use a baby pink color that, I don't know, I think it got warmer when I applied it to my cheek, which is very welcome naman. It looks very great on top of my yellow undertone. And I'm not only applying it to my cheekbones or to the high points of my cheek, but also to the apples of my cheek because we want to keep it classic. Also on the tip of my nose. Again, I'm just setting my face with this translucent setting powder to make sure none of the cream that I applied below moves and that everything is set in place. After all of that is done and secured, now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. And for this, ito yung gagamitin kong palette, yung Eye Magic, and I'm going to be using the most left row. And also this All Matte Saturn palette from Keep Best. Just follow what I do sa screen and also yung shade na naka-indicate is the one I'm using. Um, you don't necessarily have to use yung mga palettes na ginamit ko rin dito. As long as you have similar colors from other palettes you can use that or you can even mix it up to the colors that you want your eye look to be but again sticking to the theme of classic and timeless i'm going to be using brown for this look i wanted to add glitter but nagulat ako kasi like it's really bright <laughs> and hindi ko inexpect yon but thankfully a little buffing did the work and i'm just going to be applying the same colors underneath the lash line I didn't really want to apply eyeliner so what I did instead was use a very dark brown to buff a kind of smoky faux liner on my top lash line Lastly, for the eyeshadow, I'm highlighting the inner corner and adding more brightness on the under eye. Again, this is something that I don't really do often, but I'm going to be taking this gel eyeliner and tight lining my eyes. This is something that I see a lot of professional makeup artists do, and it's basically just lining the top lash line. I'm going to do my mascara off cam because I assume you guys already know how that's done. And of course, we're moving to the blush. I'm taking this pastel, like peachy color. And at first, you don't really see it, but it does add something to the cheeks. And I don't really want to add too much blush. Same goes for bronzer, so that's why I'm tapping off the excess and just brushing it on the perimeters of the face. The same idea goes for the contour. For this, I'm going to use a brush that's smaller but just as fluffy. And I'm tapping that in, tapping off the excess, and applying it on the hollows of my cheeks. And all of the other areas where I want to add shadow. So, ayun, I'm going to also add it on my nose. Katulad ng sabi ko kanina, you may think that the contour here looks too harsh and maybe it is but when it's exposed to very bright lights, it does kind of settle down. 
I used a lot of powder and I don't want to make my makeup ko, so I'm setting it with a setting spray but not too much and I'm quickly drying all of that off with my Chanyeol fan. When your skin is like 90% dry, that's the perfect time to put on your highlighters because it will stick more to the skin and really glow. So I'm applying it on the high points of the face, the tip of the nose, underneath the brow. Um, I'm not using the cheekbone. I don't find it necessary, but yeah. I was lucky to have been sent a very grad pick appropriate look, and this is by Artisan Pro and their collaboration with Jake Galvez, the pro MUA artist. So um, while letting that dry, I'm just prepping my lips by removing the lip balm and lining it with a lip liner from Vice Cosmetics. I'm adding height to it, so I'm just adding and overlining the top and bottom of my lips. Itong brown na ginamit ko, I felt like although it was nude, masyado pa rin siyang dark for the purposes of grad makeup. So, pinantungan ko siya ng Chuchu Choo Beauty na pinkish nude and that really created the perfect lip look. I added the lashes on top and really made sure na nakadikit siya and that's how it looks like. Super ganda, super fluffy and really appropriate for graduation pictorial. Of course, hindi pa dyan natatapos. I'm lining my lower waterline with a peach-colored liner to really open it up. If you can see the difference that it makes, yan, maka lang siyang bright talaga. I'm going to do my hair and this is the final look! graduation series. I thought it would be a great idea na isama dito sa vlog series na to yung trial and error ko um, for doing my own grad makeup. I did consider na ipagawa na lang dun sa photography studio na napili ng UST. I realized na, you know, I did not spend all of this money like playing with makeup and learning makeup for nothing. So, anyway, yeah. Um, ito yung first na nagawa ko. I don't know if this is the best uh, choice for the outfit since lagi sila na off shoulder for grad pic photos. But ito lang siya mahanap ko ngayon sa posit ko kasi ang gulo. But yeah, um, this is the graduation pictorial makeup option number one. Uh, for this look, I decided to go a little more on the classic side. For classic makeup looks, walang co super colorful colors, walang laminated brows, walang yung mga trending makeup styles. Because I wanted to look pretty even after all of the trends pass. So, ayun, yun yung choice na ginawa ko ngayon. Um, the skin looks good. Ito na yung video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure you follow me on all of my social media. And if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!